were you, your office, or any Liberal Party staff ever warned before or after September 2019 election about CSIS concerns that Mr. Hong Dong was suspected to be involved in the People's Republic of China foreign interference? And if the Liberal Party government was warned prior to the 2021 election, why did the Liberal Party allow him to run? Let me start by being very, very clear. There are 1.7 million Canadians who proudly trace their origins back to China. Those Canadians should always be welcomed as full Canadians and encouraged to stand for office, to get involved in their communities, and to take on part of the leadership of this country. That's one of the great things about this country. Let me say that we are extraordinarily lucky and happy to have a member of parliament like Han Dong uh, in our midst, serving his community, serving our country alongside Chinese Canadian MPs from different parts of the country, alongside an extraordinary diverse group of, uh, of MPs who are proud Canadians, even as they trace their origins to elsewhere around the world. And that is as it should be. It's also very important to highlight that we have national security and intelligence agencies who are there to protect all Canadians of all different origins, as well as our democratic processes. And we always engage with them and listen to them. But let me also be very clear to a really important point that I think uh, some folks are choosing to overlook. In a free democracy, it is not up to unelected security officials to dictate to political parties who can or cannot run. That's a really important principle. We, of course, draw on the expertise every step of the way. But the suggestions we've seen in the media that CSIS would somehow say, no, this person can't run or that person can't run, is not just false, it's actually damaging to people's uh, confidence in our democratic and political institutions. Prime Minister, uh, just a follow up on that question on CSIS and Han Dong. Are you saying that they didn't warn you or were you warned and you chose to dismiss it for those reasons? Uh, just wanted some clarification. Once again, one of the things we've seen, unfortunately, over the past years is a rise um, in uh, anti-Asian racism linked to the pandemic uh, and concerns being raised uh, or arisen uh, around uh, people's loyalties. I want to make everyone understand fully that Han Dong uh, is an outstanding member of our team and suggestions that uh, he is uh, somehow not loyal to Canada, um, should not be entertained. Much of what CSIS actually does in keeping Canadians safe involves protecting various diaspora communities from influence of uh, authoritarian governments around the world. And we will continue to make sure we are working with CSIS to make sure that as every MP serves their community, that they do so in a way uh, that they are kept safe and that uh, is true to the Canadian values and the Canadian principles that we all stand by. Um, CSIS is active in fighting against foreign interference and part of its tools for doing that is making sure that political parties and individual politicians are alert to uh, the potential influences they may be faced with. That is something we will continue to work closely with CSIS on uh, as we move forward because not just our democracy needs to be protected in an abstract way, but the individuals choosing to serve their communities who may be seen as greater targets uh, for various countries uh, need to be protected as well and that's what we work with CSIS on. 